Hey guys, Wayback Rewind here. I'm here with my Canon XL1S and I'm going to do a tapeless conversion using my Samurai Blade digital recorder. I'm going to upscale it to HD and see if I can improve on its native quality. It did horrible in my head-to-head -head comparison with my XL-H1S, but I'm going to see if I can improve on that. Coming up next, here on Wayback Rewind. So I put my Canon XL1S up against my XL-H1S in head-to-head -head comparison, and the XL1S did not look all that great. So I'm going to see if I can improve on that by doing an upscale and a digital tapeless conversion. And so let's see what that looks like. Okay, let's get started. So I've got here the Canon XL1S and the XL-H1S. They both have the Canon XL video zoom lens. To give the XL1S the best chance to improve its quality, I'm actually going to take the lens from the XL-H1S and put it on the XL1. So now the XL1S now has the 20X zoom lens with the three rings on it and the ND filter. That alone may improve its quality. The next thing I'm going to do, I said I would upscale it, and I said I would use my Atomos digital recorder. The thing with this recorder, though, is it only records in SDI, serial digital. This camera has no serial digital output. So what I'm going to do is something unusual. This is a digital camera. It has a FireWire output. Normally, I would say if you have a digital signal, leave it digital. Don't convert it back to analog and then convert it to digital again. But I'm gonna do something different with this camera. I'm gonna take the analog video out and convert that to serial digital. The reason I'm gonna do it that way, because I have an outboard analog to digital converter, I am going to use that instead of the internal circuitry. Where is this analog to SDI digital converter, you ask? AV to 3G STI. Power supply, we'll talk about that in a minute. So as you can see, this is an AV to 3G SDI. I can send my AV in here. I can send my SDI out here. Hook this to the converter. Plug the audio and video into the audio video there, and I'm good to go. There is a problem. This needs 12 volts. Obviously, I don't want to walk around town with a power supply. I have here 12 volt power supply, it has USB out, but it also has a 12 volt out here that I can plug directly from this power supply into here. Turn this on. We have a light, power supply, 3G converter, Atomos. The Atomos is powered by this Sony NPF battery. That's a good sign. It's showing 720. I can play around with the resolution, upscale it some more perhaps. This is a lot of stuff that needs to mount to that. I'll have to build up some type of rig to hold it all. I don't need the XLR inputs. So I'll be unplugging this, but I'll leave the heel on here just to have a heel. This will mount up here. I'll have to find some place to mount this video converter and this power supply, and then we'll be ready to roll. So in terms of cabling, I bought these cables. Less than a foot cables are surprisingly difficult to find. I got these two short audio cables and a short video cable. I guess that's the red one. Make that the white. Be the white. 
That's going to be the red. Red, not that. It's going to be anyone's guess. So given the short length of cables, the only place I could mount the converter was on top of the heel. And then I mounted the battery supply to the back of the heel. And this actually worked out pretty good and is very balanced. So as I mentioned in the open, one reason to not use the firewire, I wanted the raw camera input to put into my video converter, up converting to 1080, outputting it as 3G SDI. 3G SDI is going into my recorder and I can record in full HD without any interference from the onboard compression from the camera. Full resolution from the recorder into the camera. Okay, now I'm gonna turn on the power. Video converter and see what we got. 720p 50. Not sure if I want that. 720p 60. 1080i 50. And we got 1080p 30. So before we go out to the field, I am going to load a fresh tape so that we can do an accurate side by side comparison of the tape in its native format to the upscaled and digitally recorded signal going into the Atomos. And so now here we go. So there you have it. I tried to upscale and tapeless modify my Canon XL1S 
and it was very disappointing. Sometimes you learn what not to do. And so I will not be using my real-time video processor to upscale in the future. If you found this interesting, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.